one of the main reasons for me to make this book was that people, even within the region, like within the Nordics, don't really know that much about the food culture, like the collective food culture of the whole area. Uh, you know a bit about your food culture for your little part, but because the Nordics is such a vast geographical area, um, there's a lot of diversity and variation, and people don't really know about that. So that, to me, was kind of a main motivation. To make a book like this, which is so big, like there's so much content, there's like there's 730 recipes or something like that. Um, it's a much bigger project than at least I thought it was going to be from the beginning. Uh, I think the biggest challenge is just like throughout the whole thing was just to try to keep it like organized and actually produce content, not just gathering masses of information that you know just becomes nothing. And to me, like it was really important through the whole process to try to not mix my opinions into the recipe content. So it's actually really difficult to like pick favorites like that because the book is about representing the whole Nordic re region rather than representing my kind of viewpoint of things. Most cookbooks previously published on cooking from my home region, um, they are either just not good or there are a good selection of recipes but they don't really supply any context um, which makes it quite difficult to understand like where the recipes come from and like where they make sense and you know stuff like that. Recipe content uh, is not intellectual property. Uh, it doesn't belong, belong to any specific person because the, like, no one invents them really. Even stuff that we have at Faviken that we might have created there from original research, it's not. I don't consider that our intellectual property. So I don't mind sharing recipes and stuff like that. I don't think that you know you should limit yourself and sit on those things. Like they, they have no value if you don't share them. So. There are like two things that I think are really important. One is that, like, obviously you have to keep cooking because otherwise it's very difficult to become better technically. Um, but while you're doing that, it's also very important to be open to other things, you know, to do other things. For me, like, I've always written things, I've always photographed and uh, listened to music, paint. Um, because, like, all of the other things that you experience in life, they're going to feed back into your creative outlet, which for me most of the time is the cooking. Um, and if you just cook all the time, like, very little true development is going to happen. So next is to finish the book tour <laughs> uh, and then go back to Sweden uh, and, you know, spend some time with my family and at the restaurant, basically.